Hello everyone. In our last video, we have discussed about NAT, overload NAT, and static NAT. In our this video, we have to discuss about syslog and SNMP. Okay, so SNMP you have already know about that it is simple network management protocol. And what is syslog? Syslog server like syslog first of all syslog stands for system logging protocol as you have seen there is a syslog server and syslog server is connected with the workstations applications and other servers there are syslog message server device workstation so system logging protocol is a standard protocol which is used to like send system logs or event messages to specific server for example these are specific servers so syslog is used to send these logs from like to event message to specific server it is known as syslog server which server it sends this this and it is primarily used to collect various device logs from several different machine like it can take information from workstations applications and so many machines it can use and it takes information from these machines in a central location for monitoring and review so this is known as system logging protocol now besides this we have snmp also now what is snmp actually okay so snmp is your simple network management protocol okay okay why snmp use as you can see in my this diagram you can see there is a manager and trap receivers they are getting and set request and set response they are taking from master agent For, with master agent you are seeing agent 1 2 3 4 5 are connected and with manager which are sending get and set request agent 6 is there so how snmp work here snmp is simple network management protocol like they are managing each other snmp is also a framework used for managing device on the internet like on the internet you can use your device from one location to another location and snmp also provides a set of operations for monitoring and managing the internet so this is all about SNMP and syslog. Thank you so much.